Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the TT Artisan Trinity of Lenses, or how I call it, the Unholy Trinity. Why do I call it that? First of all, because of the price. Together they cost less than a 7 Artisan's 35mm f0.95 or a bit more than a Fujifilm XC 35mm f2. The second is the image quality. In the past years it was unheard of lenses at this price with good image quality which are also very well built. And the final reason, which is a bit selfish, but from all the manual lenses, these ones have aperture rings with clicks. I know they are manual lenses, but still for the price they are an unholy option. I've been using these lenses in my travels. I am a professional photographer that travels a lot, and I love taking all types of lenses on trips with me. Sometimes I even use them for work if they are capable enough but mostly I use them when I am free to enjoy the places I am traveling to. And in the past months I had these lenses with me on a lot of trips and I enjoyed using them a lot. I started my journey into photography with film and used a lot of manual lenses, so using these lenses with a Fujifilm camera reminds me of that. Using manual lenses feels more personal and makes you more focused. Getting home and looking at a photo that you like and seeing that you nailed focus is very rewarding. And these lenses from TT Artisan are just a pleasure to use, especially the 45mm f1.4 which is my favorite, so I'm going to start with this one. This is not going to be an in-depth review of these lenses, I already made those and you can find them on my channel or you can find links at the end of this video. It is going to be more of a quick review and my experience with these lenses. So the 35mm f1.4 I think it is the sharpest of them all. It is sharp from f1.4, at f2 gets very sharp and finally at f4 it is sharp from corner to corner. No, it is razor sharp. You rarely see this kind of sharpness and contrast on a lens. The out of focus background is nice and smooth, it doesn't get crowded when you have a lot of things going on in the background. The manual focus ring is a bit small but you get used to it. Speaking about small things, this lens is very very small, you can put it in your pocket small. And that makes it a great option for me when traveling. Also if you have a small camera body, this is perfect. It costs only 80 dollars or euros and it is all metal and glass. This is my favorite manual lens now and I highly recommend it. The build quality and design of these lenses is so nice, but especially the 50mm f1.2. I don't know why exactly, but it is a joy to look at it. Maybe it's the smooth metal finish or the very subtle markings, or maybe the big front glass. It looks vintage but also new, I'm blabbering. Anyways, this has my favorite design and from all three lenses it is my second favorite. It is sharp in the center from f1.2 and it becomes great at f2 and amazing at f4. This is such a great lens for portrait work and to isolate your subject. The contrast is great but not like the 35mm. The background is also nice and smooth and the focus ring is a pleasure to use because Let's make it simple, the travel of the focus from close to infinity is long. This is great for fast aperture lenses when you manually focus. This is the biggest one, but for a 50mm f1.2 it is small and again a great option if you travel. If you like portrait photography or longer focals for street photography, I highly recommend this lens. And finally, my least favorite lens, but by no means bad, the 17mm f1.4. It is my least favorite because I use wide angle lenses a lot, and I hope that this lens will have better corner sharpness at faster apertures, but the corners get good around f5.6. The center of the image has good sharpness straight from f1.4 and it gets very sharp from f2, but the corners at these apertures are very soft. This was the last lens I purchased and I had big expectations from it after using the others. Maybe that is why it's my least favorite. 
But again, by no means is this a bad lens. Actually, for the price, it's quite a good wide-angle lens. It is very small, which again makes it a good option for travel and hiking. If you want to shoot landscapes, you'll always use apertures like f5.6 and above, where this lens is good in the corners and great in the center. If you don't mind that softness in the corners at f1.4 and want a small wide angle fast lens, I recommend you get this. These lenses are so small, offer a good focal range and fast apertures at the price of a cheap autofocus lens. So if you enjoy manual focusing or thinking about it, these are some of the best manual lenses you can find. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. This helps me grow my channel and make more videos for you to watch. See you next time.